welcome back to more Final Fantasy VII, The Rebirth. Now, in the last episode, we made our way to the reactor, and unfortunately, Sephiroth has started to have some inner doubts about who he is. Is he a monster? Just like all of the things that were inside those tubes. And Hojo seems to have just really broken chair, gotten inside his head. So we have made our way back to the inn. We are still flashbacking. I met Sephiroth as he was heading for Shinra Manor, and he acted like I wasn't even there. Busy, I suppose. The poor mayor. Like, he just wanted to have some dinner. Never mind. He pulled up inside the mansion. Something's been off ever since he came back from the reactor. Too much exposure to knock him? Then we ought to bring him some medicine. Oh, you guys, I don't think you should be going anywhere near him. If you're looking for Severon, I saw him headed toward the mansion. Like, he thinks that... Sorry, these guys all think that they can, like, save him in some way. You need to just stay away. Shinra Manor was the biggest building in town. And older than the reactor. The company used to conduct research there. Back when they were still a small manufacturer. Even so, the rent on that plot was basically what kept the village afloat. Well, here we are. What now? I Look mean, at it. It's so beautiful. I think he's sleeping or something? But if he's yeah. Sleeping, he doesn't need your help. He's Sephiroth. I feel like it's kind of insulting to Sephiroth a little bit that he would need the help from these people. Like, don't they know who he thinks he is? Why do you have carpet on your wall? Why does it have a rich people, man? Like, I was gonna say I grew up in a house like this. I kind of did, but didn't. Long story. And they were exactly the same. They had ridiculous walls like this. Now, don't get me wrong. That coving or whatever you want to call it, it's so beautiful. I have a lot of that in my house. Actually, I just absolutely adore it. Hey, I'm not going up the stairs. I keep forgetting that I can run. <laughs> I just kind of let Cloud go at his own pace. Sephiroth, where did you go? Place, but Sephiroth was nowhere to be seen. News to me too. I doubt anyone in the village had a clue. And there's a certain something in the basement, if I recall. I don't even know. Have I seen Vincent yet? Again, I haven't seen any of the trailers or anything like that, so I don't know if you guys have even seen Vincent. Okay, so this is a lot smaller than the original. Hey, Sefi. Excavated from a 2,000 year old rock layer, a life form in stasis. Professor Gast named this life form Genova. M E G L 77 1977. Genova, verified as an ancient. Uh, MEGL 913-1977. Genova project approved. So, they named the life form Genova. And once they understood what she was, they grew ambitious. 
mean, you hey, can't Zephyr. blame them, really. What you got there? Leave me be. Was it? He stayed holed up in the basement, reading, reading, like a man possessed. Got you, Nova. A locked reactor door. The name of Sephiroth's mother. An ancient. Ah, screw it. Racking my brain's not gonna get me anywhere. May as well just ask the guy. Yeah, I wouldn't be going anywhere without the Buster Sword, that's for sure. Especially when Sephiroth is involved. You can understand why he's in there all the time. I would want answers too. Ah, Cloud. I've come across the most fascinating passage. The specimen found in Strata dating back 2,000 years. Smile with what could only be described as ethereal grace. Though the truth eluded me at first, I later determined that she was an ancient, or a steward of the planet, as they are referred to in legend. She needed a name, and so I dubbed her Genova. The Genova project was approved soon after, a bold initiative to resurrect the long dead ancients. An initiative that resulted in my conception. Or rather, my creation. The crowning glory of Professor Gas wondrous experiment. He created you? It doesn't mean you have to be crazy, though! <laughs> like, I feel bad for him. Can you imagine how you'd feel finding all this out about yourself? Although there's a part of me that feels like I wouldn't even care. <laughs> Like, I am me now. I, I don't care. Mother is waiting. Do, 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 do. Step aside, Cloud! Hey, hold on. Yo! reminds me of that time where Renoa's like possessed myself, and then she goes out to space I come too sooner? in Final Fantasy VIII. If I had, maybe I could have saved the village. Or tried, at least. <sighs> What? Yeah. I thought we went back to the reactor. Maybe we do, and I'm getting ahead of myself. But I want to see the seed! I want to see hey, him you. going through the fire. The villagers need your help. Oh man. I'm just going the wrong way. That was lucky. That was death just taunting you. Let me throw my son to him there. I'm sorry, he's gone. 
I'm like pressing R2 trying to run. It's not doing anything. Cause he's gone cray cray. Oh, I'm definitely not going in there. You know what's interesting with Cloud telling this story? That Tifa's sitting there listening, but she knows the story differently. You know? It's just interesting to me. Maybe I was supposed to go in there. Nope, I don't think so. You know that she literally lets him tell this. Maybe she's just more curious as to how he remembers things. I'm coming. I'm not. Hold on, I'm, I'm coming. <laughs> Let me over. Come on, it wouldn't be that toasty. All right, can I use this? Hey, where do I go? Stop letting me walk this slow. It's killing me. Well, you don't look too worried. Oh. More just sad. <laughs> I feel like if you didn't have that massive sword on you, you might be able to walk a bit quicker. I'm coming, Mom. I feel like we've had the Midgar section, which, by the way, is an amazing part of the game. But I am just so excited for what is to come with this. And see to the people, uh-oh, that have never even played these games. Oh my god. God, you are gonna go on a journey. Please. Please be okay. She is not okay in there. I mean, look at that. She is not okay. Like, you're not going in there. Oh! Oh my god! Why? That wasn't necessary! That wasn't necessary at all! Sephiroth! Oh my god! Oh, this is so cool. It's like, just getting me a little bit closer to him. I'm gonna get him! There he is. You're- No, the mayor's gonna die! You sick son of a bitch. Oh no. The do they honestly think that they can do anything to him? They're crazy! Oh! 
What an epic scene! I just can! It's like we're edging closer. We're just gonna watch them die. Oh, Mayor. All he wanted was a nice dinner with Sephiroth. <laughs> Gonna get something beginning with D. Death. Don't do it! He's just a nice guy! Oh god! Oh no. Oh no, he's gonna chop his head off! Or that. Unnecessary. I guess some people find out things about themselves and they go one or the other, you know? He went down the wrong path. Cloud, let him go. Oh man, he's just in the fire. Uh, <laughs> iconic, so iconic. Oh wow, I've so been waiting for that forever. Didn't he? <laughs> Sephiroth. Soldiers. Mako. Shinra. I'm sick of this. I'm sick of all of this! I mean, if Tifa could actually fight with that sword in that outfit, I think it would break the internet, but we all kind of know what happens. <laughs> oh, Cloud, go do something. I'm just so excited to see all of this right now. Mother, I have come for you. scar there from that happening but I've never seen her with a scar Trouble. 
That's it. Oh, I'm getting chills right now. Oh, man. Here I am, your son. Mother, together we will reclaim our world. And I know exactly how we can do that. The promised land. Sephiroth! Mother, they have come again. The ones who robbed you of the planet. Your planet. But there's no need to be sad, Mother. Because I'm here for you. I always wondered, yeah, like, is this actually alive? Or is this just a robot? You know what I mean? Okay, this is obviously alive. Oh, he's so you evil at this point. You killed Tifa. My village. My home. They were mine by right. Uh, oh this my god! <laughs> for I have been chosen. Get him, Cloud! Go get him! No. Not you! Whoever the hell you are! Not my Sephiroth! Imagine it actually gave us a fight here. How awesome would that be? Not that we would stand a chance, mind you. And thus, our story comes to an end. And I love Barra here where he's like, wait, what? What happened? It kind of ended like that. That's the last thing I remember. The rest is a blank. The hell it is? What happened? <laughs> it was all over the news. I remember watching it with my mom. They said he went missing during a training exercise. But then, the story changed. A couple days later, they started reporting that he was killed in action. Yeah, that was it. The news outlets are nothing but Shinra mouthpieces spewing propaganda. Only dumbasses believe that shit. Question. Does that make me a dumbass? Uh, I didn't say that. What I meant was... Screw Shinra for manipulating honest folks. It doesn't matter what they said back then. Sephiroth was in Midgard. We fought him. Whatever happened, he's alive. Don't know about alive so much as... Around? But why come back now? After five years, doing who knows what? Because he wants to finish what he started. He wants to reclaim his birthright and rule over the planet with Jenova at his side. After five years? Not to sound like a broken record, but... It's really bothering me. Well, what's bothering me is all this Genova stuff. <sighs> Excuse me. Guess the travel or something really did a number on my back. Feels as stiff as a board. Let me take a look. Mm. Ah! Wow. You weren't kidding, were you? Let's get you back to the room. <sighs> yeah. Let's just call it a night. No I think we've had enough of the backstory the now. So how about we give our head to rest? Oh, my little Finny! <laughs> Finn is my dog. 
<laughs> in case you don't know. Sweet dreams. See you tomorrow. Yes, the fact that, like, Tifa doesn't even add to the story there, which you would think was weird. Because she was there. And she knows something else. You awake? Barely. Why? I was wondering, what's Cloud been doing these past five years? Where's he been? And you're asking me this? Just had a feeling you'd know. Probably did at one point. All that stuff was taken from me, though. Or maybe erased? By whispers? Yeah. Maybe that's why. Why what? <laughs> this is gonna sound crazy, but as far as I know, Cloud was never in Nibelheim five years ago. Go on! <laughs> See, for all the people that don't actually know anything, they'd be like, what? You kidding me? Cloud, you up? I love that Red even got his own bed. It's so cute. Like, usually they would sleep on the floor. You know what I'm saying? Why are you bringing your sword just to talk to Tifa? Sorry. Did I wake you? Nope. What's going on? Oh, uh, it's nothing, really. There's just something I need to ask you. So, can we talk? Sure. Great, but not here. Follow me. Man, I love Tifa's shoes. Her entire outfit is just everything. Whoa! Stop stalking me, Sephiroth. I know that I killed her. So, who is she? Or rather, what? Is she? <gasps> oh, so good. Wow. Calm doesn't sound so calm. It sounds like it's got a hell of a nightlife going on. Do you think Midgar's over there? Anyway. There's something I need to ask you too. Shoot. That night, five years ago, at the reactor, I saw you lying there. Saw your wound and all the blood. I figured it was too late. Yeah? <gasps> Wait, what are you implying? That I died? That I'm some kind of imposter? Well then tell him what happened! <sighs> Can't believe I'm having this conversation with you. But here we are. Here, look. My scar, that proof enough? After you left, Zongan found me. He's the one who brought me to the clinic. He risked his life carrying me out of the reactor and down the river. Wasn't just him though, 
There's the doctor who operated on me all night, and the nurses who looked after me for days on end. I'm here now because they were there for me then. And where were you again? In fact, where have you been this whole time? For five years! You know I can't tell you that. Of course you can't. That's because you don't have a clue. Sorry, I just need some space. Good one, Cloud. You managed to upset Tifa. I want to say again, because I feel like he's upset her quite a few times. Look at this view, man. Oh my gosh! Calm even has the cobblestones that it had. Oh, beautiful. It's exactly as I imagined it. Calm in the original, it just has like a certain vibe to it. And it just looks exactly as it should. I thought we could just pick up where we left off, like nothing had changed. But I guess I was wrong. Guess so. <gasps> oh! I'm so happy to see you ouch! Again, maybe I shouldn't have been. Cloud! That was cold! No! No, we don't stand that behavior. Thank you very much. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. That's it. We've what level am I? Level 15. Oh, just starting all over again. Can't believe it. <laughs> Going from level 40 to level 15. No. Uh -oh. You two fight. No. We have enough problems as it is. Copy. Night. Tomorrow is another day. I love you, Red. Love you so much. Never meet your heroes. <laughs> If this game goes as it should, I am gonna be on my way to the Chocobo Ranch, okay? And I demand, demand dancing Chocobos. That's what I want, that's what I need. What a room. Gosh, we gotta stay in like the most beautiful room. Like look at the plant. I really want to plan like that at some point. I'm working on it, but I have fake plans because everything that I try and keep just dies, you know? What's this? A gift from our humble establishment. Though it may not look like much, it should help you to break the ice with those you meet. Queen's blood? A starter deck? <gasps> There's a card game? Is it like eight? You can now play the card game Queen's Blood. Find other players denoted by the yellow icon around the world and challenge them to matches. Should you win, they will often give you new cards to add to your collection. <laughs> Defeating players will also give you the opportunity to fight other opponents in different towns. You can also build and edit decks by selecting card decks from the main menu. Eh, uh, okay. Yes. I want to learn how to play this. Soundtrack better be good. Bum, ba, bum, ba, bum, ba, bum, 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 bum. Okay, jazz in it. Each player takes turns placing a card on the board in one of the three lanes that span from left to right. Okay. First, try placing a card on one of the highlighted tiles adorned with an emerald pawn. Okay, anyone? Let's go for the character. Okay. 
Oh, you can see like, so the middle one has two. Okay. Once a card is placed, its power is added to your lane total. New positions will also be added to the board, which are tiles with emerald pawns upon which you can place cards. The yellow number in the top right corner of a card is its power. Okay. While the positions a card will add to the board are indicated by the yellow squares in the graphic at the bottom. Yeah. Next, place a card so that one of its yellow tiles overlaps with one of your existing positions. Okay. When one of your card's position tiles overlaps with the position you control, the position rises in rank. As there are two pawns on that tile now, that position is rank 2. Cards can only be placed on positions equal to or higher than their rank, which is denoted by the number of yellow in the top left corner of the card. Ah, uh, yeah, I see. Okay, so some have one, some have two. Thus, in order to play more powerful cards, you will have to raise the rank of your positions. Ah. Okay. As you now have a rank 2 position, try placing your rank 2 card. Which is the Riot Trooper. When one of your card positions overlaps with one of your opponents, you claim that position as yours. Note, however, that claiming a position will not raise its rank. I keep getting more cards as well. This is a little bit confusing. You can keep track of who is winning a lane by looking at the point totals on each side of the board. Okay. The numbers on the left represent your power, while ones on the right represent your opponents. Yep. Yeah. You may notice that some cards have tiles with red borders. Uh, I don't, do I have any of those? These are the tiles that are affected by the card's ability. Place cards effectively to make the most of their abilities and amass more power in more lanes than your opponent. In the event you cannot place a card, you can pass with triangle. When both players pass consecutively, the game will end. Okay, so, uh, yeah, right, okay. Plus two. Oh, he's got five there. No, he's getting tokens! I think I'm winning this one. 
only because it helped me a ton. I mean, I... Okay, so I have to pass. Does this mean I won? Once the game is over, each player's score is tabulated. Only the player with the higher power in a lane has their power added to their score. Right, okay. In other words, no matter how high your power in a lane may be, if it is less than your opponent's power in the same lane, it will not count. Oh, okay. After calculating the winner for each lane and adding their lane scores up, the player with the higher score wins! Uh oh. Okay, listen, we won because it was a tutorial. In conclusion, that concludes the Queen's Blood tutorial. You can add more cards to your collection by winning them off of other players or purchasing booster packs from shops. In your quest to amass cards, you may even end up becoming the best player on the planet. That'll be me. Right. Okay. Nothing like Final Fantasy VIII's card game, but that's fine. Also didn't have the soundtrack, but that's also fine. It's only the most recent in a series of crises. Multiple reactor bombings, followed by the fall of the Sector 7 plate, culminating in this unprecedented destruction caused by a massive tornado which swept through sectors 0, 1, and 2. After a briefing with Shinra investigators, Mayor Domino released a statement declaring the tornado... Good morning, sir. I must apologize for not introducing myself to you earlier. I'm Broden, the owner of this inn. Your companions have all stepped out. Oh, but Barrett left a message he wanted me to pass along to you. You missed roll call, soldier boy. Luckily, you're on leave for the day. <laughs> Don't waste it though. Get your equipment checked ASAP. Sound advice. Adjust your party's gear by accessing materia and equipment from the main Perhaps menu. Perhaps a trip to the arms dealer is in order? Good idea. By the way, Cloud, do you have any folios on you? Yeah. In that case, you might also want to pay a visit to Magnata Books. They have stores all over, but the first official one was built here in Calm. And their resident scholars are remarkably talented. If you want to unlock the true potential of your folios, you should go see them. The first customization is always free. I do like things that are free. Thank you very much. All right, I'm excited. Let's go and explore. Hi, Red. Rough day yesterday, huh? You've been waiting for me. I've been waiting for a chance to thank you properly. Without your help, I'd still be in Hojo's clutches, trapped in that lab. Was nothing. Even so, I owe you a debt, until it's paid. I'm going to accompany you. Yay! Red, 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 red! We love you! Uh -huh. If you're getting your equipment checked, have them check mine while you're at it. Sure thing. Oh man, I am not ready for Cosmo Canyon. Oh, looks got a backbone. Like I'll be in pieces. Oh man. Overcoming challenges, helping people in need and exploring the world will deepen your party's bonds, thereby increasing your party level. The higher this level, the more skills and abilities will be available in your folios. How beautiful is that? Oh, just everything in this game is just... Yeah, I love the cobblestones on the floor. Uh, morning. Morning. Everyone's kind of off doing their own thing. I noticed. Say, uh, this tank remind you of anything? Hmm. 
looks kind of like the water tower in Nibelheim. Right? Weird to think how much it meant to me back then, when I was still there. Damn it, I feel like I should have said the promise one. Because I want Tifa and Cloud to be romantic. I don't want Eris, or Aerith, sorry, and Cloud. I'll get into that at another stage, but I have always shipped Tifa and Cloud. And that's where my heart is. Disagree all you want, I don't care. Cloud's actions affect his relationships with his allies. And the strength of these bonds can alter portions of the story. Press L1 to view a comrade's feelings towards Cloud, as indicated by symbols such as happy and really happy. Can I change that? This is such a quiet, peaceful town. No, apparently I can't. Um, I mean, if that fails, I guess I could get romantic with Barrett. Stranger things have happened. Uh -huh. Hey girl! Finally decided to get up? Yeah. So what you been doing? Why, waiting for you, of course. You have? Got business with the bookstore? If so, I won't keep you. But if you're free afterwards, wanna climb the clock tower together? Eh. Uh, uh, uh. Sure. Let's. For real? Awesome! Since it was my idea, I'll go get the tickets. I can't I'll be nasty to her, though. Okay? Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I can't just be nasty to her, even though I want Tifa to be hey, his girlfriend. Hey. Welcome to Magnata Books. Oh, I take it this is your first visit to one of our stores. Well, customization can seem tricky to the uninitiated. It takes time and experience to get it right. But I think you'll pick it up quick enough. Let's give it a try. All right. Spend skill points at Magnata Books locations and automats to augment your party's folios, thus unlocking powers latent in your allies. Okay, so... Ah! The orange skill cores can be unlocked. You have Firework Blade. Oh, that's cool. I really like them working together in this. Is that the one I have to get, I guess? Firework Blade. Why do I feel like we're gonna be using that soon? So, yeah, in typical fashion, the more that you use, You'll get the adjacent ones. Increasing the party level creates more skill cores. The character will earn SP when they level up or when they acquire manuscripts, such as the art of swordplay. Oh, and I can, oh, that's cool. So I can actually return them and then do different combos. And that's about all we can do for now. But we haven't even skimmed the surface. The Look at Cloud's region. face, he's raging! There's much more to this than meets the eye. It may not seem like it yet, but you'll see. Did you see that? He had such a face on him. Hmm. I'm not happy about any of this. Right, I do want to go climbing, but there's something Damn. over here. You know, I thought no. <laughs> what a glorious Wow. Ball. I, did, I didn't mean to... Like... Whoa, 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 whoa! I'm, I'm a terrible person. <laughs> Excuse me. That was my barricade you just destroyed. I had so much fun doing it. I'm so sorry. It is something. Or maybe... You're here to get your ass handed to you in a QB match. Bring it! I did the tutorial. I know everything. Just like Calm's wall, I yield to no one. Refusing to give a single inch to my opponents. Don't presume you'll emerge unscathed if you decide to go up against me. Because you will wind up with more than just a few bruises. Yeah, okay. Screamer. I gotta, wait. So I've just got the one deck. 
Got some pretty decent cards in here, right? Let's see how I do. If you don't like some or any of the cards you have drawn, you can put them back in your deck and draw new ones. I mean, why would I want to? I chose them. <laughs> As you cannot play high rank cards right away, it is often a good idea to return them to your deck in hopes of getting ones that will help you. Okay, I want... Wait, do I have to do that? I'm... Wait, yeah, okay, let's get rid of this one. So I want to start... Why can't I start with you? Let's see if I've actually grasped this game or not. I mean, as if that isn't always the case in Final Fantasy, though. Ah, he's got a five there. Da -da 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 -da. ability on that one. Okay, so you've got that one, but the bottom is good. Yeah, so let's go for this one. I'm running out of turns. Wait, they passed? Can I not put any? Did I just lose? I have to pass. Oh no. Whew. Okay. Okay. Easy win. Easy. Impossible. How could someone break through my perfect defense? Who are you? <laughs> Deep down, I always knew. I knew I couldn't stay holed up in here forever. Walls you cleaned up all the boxes. Safe, but even the sturdiest ones eventually crumble. Right. Starting today, you will be my new wall, as it were. And I am going to enjoy watching you crumble. Right. Sure. Seems fine. So I need to go and sort my weapons and maybe we can deal with some items and all that as well. Like I don't know what I am walking into after this. Oh beautiful! Oh! Chalky! Oh you just look straight out of Final Fantasy 15 but you're beautiful! Oh! I 
love my choke. Hello and welcome to my humble shop. Hello. What do I have? Not very much. I wish to have. How much money do I have? Two thousand. Uh, another one of those. Yes. Why are you so expensive? I feel like seeing every place that I'm at, we need to be buying these. We've gotta be buying them. Right, that's not left me with like anything, so I'm gonna get a phoenix down. Thank you for having me. This place is a lot bigger than I remember. Okay, what's that? Armed and dangerous. Wait, I have two things that we can do. Okay. So I'm gonna end up going over here to this Armed and Dangerous and I have no money! Welcome. Cause I'm an idiot. Damn. That is quite the weapon you got there, mister. Seen plenty of action by the look of it. But saying that, it's still only a shadow of what it could be. With a little love, that baby will sing. If you like, I could show you. Sure. Adjust your weapon skill via upgrade weapons in the main menu. Raising your character's weapons levels will unlock more of these skills, as well as stat boosts allowing you to customize your party to suit your playstyle. Changing a character's weapon will not reset the level. I want to enhance, please. So let's select the Buster Sword. A weapon's attributes and acquired skills are displayed here. Do you only get one? Okay, what do we want? Weapon damage or... I guess that's the one we gotta go for. Auto. Ah, see, I don't much care for auto, you know. See, what I tell you, that girl is singing and she's got the voice of an angel. Just make sure you take proper care of her, all right? Oh, and while you're here, check out what we got to offer. New weapons can be found in treasure chests during your travels. But should you happen to miss one, the local arms dealer will have it available to purchase. That is great news! Many of these merchants even stock the latest armor and accessories, so be sure to check in often. But I got no money! Because as I said, I'm an idiot. <laughs> and I'm assuming I got nothing to sell. Uh, yeah, I got nothing to sell. You take care of that weapon now. I will. Each weapon comes with a distinct ability which can be used when the weapon is equipped. Using this ability repeatedly or meeting its profic proficiency bonus conditions will increase your proficiency. Max out this proficiency to use said ability even when you do not have it. Yeah, exactly. So the more you use it, it's a... Is it the more I use... Yeah, okay, so the more I use what comes with the weapon, it's like you then learn it, and then when you change weapon, you don't have to worry about it. So what comes with clouds, then? Focus thrust. So basically, the more I use that... A date with Aerith. See, this is what I was like, oh, I wanted a date with Tifa. Cloud, over here. 
Cloud is such a boring person. Like, <laughs> like personality-wise, you know what I'm saying? Let's get started then, shall we? Aerith is such a breath of fresh air. And then you've got Cloud, who's just like, yeah, all right, no problem. I wonder why more people don't ship Tifa and Cloud. Do you think it's because every person on the entire internet wants to believe that they're dating Tifa instead? I think Midgar's this away. Should be, yeah. Funny, isn't it? How small it looks? It is far away. So, did something happen between you and Tifa? Hmm? Don't look so shocked. We're roommates, you know. She say something? Not about you two, no. Still, I can tell. I would have given anything to have a friend when I was growing up. Don't take her for granted. Get yeah, Cloud, that's you told. Hey, what? We're having a moment here! <laughs> Don't you dare take on Calm. Calm's beautiful. Just Yeah, Red. Go! Eighty, fifty. You know the drill. Buy these terrorists. <laughs> move, move. Oh. <laughs> well, you know what? We won't be hard to find because we're gonna come for you. Gotta be. And that's exactly why we just learned how to fight with Aerith and have that brand new move because we're about to use it. I can't believe they're invading Calm. I guess it makes sense. They're not gonna let us get away, are they? And we did take far too long explaining our story. Are they hoping that if we hide out? Like, is he hoping if we hide out, they'll just leave? Not here. Well, we will take the mask out. Hey, you. See anyone acting suspicious? It's horrible, cause like they're pointing guns at the civilians, and I just want to take them all out. I heard about the reactor bombings in Midgar. That was you, wasn't it? It's okay. I'm on your side. Look on! You're with Avalanche? Not exactly. Stop. I'll keep the troopers occupied. While we're talking, you two go up and over. This guy is a badass, huh? Okay, let's go, go, go. When he says calm has suffered enough, I mean. What happened to Calm? Incidents. Have you seen anyone suspicious? Now that you mentioned it, you might have. Oh, 
Perhaps it was just my imagination. They're gonna kill him! Oh, for the love of get out of here! Wait, wait. I know I saw some people who had a fugitive air about them. If only I could remember their faces. I know it's someone else. Stop wasting our time. Whew. I thought they were gonna take him out. They kind of suck, man. Like, if they can't find us here, then you guys suck. Or we're just too good. There is that, I suppose. They turn up yet? No, but we're still searching buildings. We'll search harder. We gotta find them. We're obviously not here. It'd be stupid to go to the cloak and closest, closest town, right? So they make it. Where are they? Down below, waiting for you. The tunnel in the basement will take you outside of town. Leave now, and they won't catch you. Head to the east. A friend of mine runs a farm out there. He'd be happy to help you. <gasps> yes, I'm ready. I'm ready. Take this. Is it a Game theater. Boy? Converts raw materials into more practical items. A Republic antique, but it still works. You'll get more use out of it than me. Nice. Thank you so much! Why are you doing this? Could have just turned us in. History with Shinra. Who knows? Maybe this will turn out to be the worst decision I've ever made. So before I change my mind, you better get going. Does he have Mako poisoning? From the item transmitter screen in the main menu, you can convert raw materials into practical items such as consumables, equipment, accessories, and more. To expand your transmutation options, collect transmuter chips found throughout the world or improve your craftsmanship. No, I'll do that another time. He is not okay, like... This goes without saying, but you'll have to lie low for a while. Like, he did not seem like he was very well, bless him. Hey guys. Oh, you made it. All in one piece? Sorry we're late. For the love of where the hell have you two been? On a date, kind of. What? Uh Well that was the last one. At least till things calm down. really likes to stir the pot and it makes me sad like stop doing that in front of Tifa girl code that looked like Tifa's ass was on fire because of red's tail <laughs> Where to now? Where there's a draft. This way. Looks like a job for me. I think this is a 
lot more realistic than us going to calm, having like a chill night in a hotel, and then just being able to carry on. Do you know what I mean? Like, this is a lot more realistic. Okay, go on then, Tifa. Nah, man, I'm gonna have to break Eris's heart. It's gonna have to happen if I'm gonna make it with Tifa. I love it so much. All of this just looks perfect. <sighs> just like a breath of fresh air. I, I can't even tell you. Do you know what I mean? The materials required to transmute items can be obtained while out exploring the world. Procured from combat or purchased at chocobo tech shops. If you are ever in need of a specific material, take note of its symbol, as it may point you in the right direction. Oh, okay. Furthermore, press the middle button in the item transmitter menu. It'll reveal more information. Can we just like stay like this forever? So who's in the party then? Okay, so it's those three. Um, I think I'm happy with that for just now. You know, it's, it's so crazy. We're three hours into the game and I feel like this is us just done like the prologue. Isn't that insane? Oh man, I, I'm gonna have a great month. The month of March, uh, it's gonna be spent just playing Final Fantasy, basically. Okay, thank you so much, as always, for hanging out with me. 
with some more Final Fantasy and in the next one we are gonna go to the Chocobo place <sighs> and I've been waiting to see that pretty much since they announced the remake so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next episode bye